So you want to make your own mission, huh? So go to Tactical Engagement, Saved. I have a few saved here, but we're going to make our, a new one here. Let's go to TE Builder. Now you have Korea as a as a whole map. It's all empty, so you got to put everything in. So depending on where you want to go to, this is Osan right here. So depending on where you want to go or fly from, you just make sure the fraction is set correctly. So I got the United States here. Let's say let's do a cap over the the Korea buffer zone. So you right click, press add package. The timing is here, so you can go just off the timing. So let's just say we'll take off at eight o'clock. So you lock the one you want to set, go to eight, and you have to of course go back down to uh back to zero. I'm just gonna go this way. And then to zero, it's eight o'clock now for the, the takeoff time. It'll automatically put all of the timings and the speeds and everything for to get there um, at a certain time, but your takeoff time is eight o'clock. Go to new, whatever aircraft you want to you want to have. I'm gonna do a block forty. Uh, let's do a cap, bar cap. Let's do four aircraft. Once you set this aircraft here, you can't change it unless you have mission commander. And I'm not gonna go over that today, but it's a all encompassing mission uh, editor where you could change stuff on the fly. So I'm just gonna have four here. Squadron will be new. If you have any other squadrons, it'll automatically it'll populate in here if they're the same block and and a uh, aircraft number. So remember Osan. So we're gonna take off from Osan. Uh, target west of town it doesn't really matter. Uh, all the skills here, you can put whatever you want. I'm just gonna put Ace. Press OK. It'll automatically put everything in there. You could change the the steer points there to where you want. So we have one. Let's try to let's make another one. Let's go to new. It has all all the same presets here. Now the the 2024th Spider Squadron is in there now. So block 40 DCA. Let's do two this time. So we'll have two. Make sure it's Osan. Press OK, and it'll give you a separate one. And you could change this one to go over here, or or wherever you want. So I'm going to change it to go this way. So now that you have your two flights, press OK. And you go into the ATO, has the two flights here. Here's the first flight. First flight's up there. Second flight is over here. Let's say you want to add another flight. You don't have to right click, press add flight, you don't have to do all that. So you press the show entire tasking order. Find your package here. Sometimes there'll be hundreds of them, but in this case we only have one since we made this. Those are two two flights there. You right click on it, go to show show flights, and you can do the same thing by adding new flights in there. If you are wanting to change the time for the entire package, I recommend going to the into the package. So you go to the bar cap, you press you right click, go to show flights, and you can change either time you want. So if you want to change the takeoff time, you want to take off later, you can take off an hour later. Or if you want to take off a couple sec a uh, couple minutes later, you just go to 14 or 15, and press OK. Both are set. So if you change the flight package time of everybody make sure you change the the start time you don't want this to be four hours into, into the past and you have to wait four hours to get there so it's a lot easier to make this at least 30 to 40 minutes before your takeoff time so you just make sure you change this uh to your takeoff time so let's say we're we moved it to 8 30 instead of eight o'clock so now we need to move this to, to eight eight o'clock so you just go up to to the zeros here and you just put it at eight o'clock and now now you save the mission and you're good once you open up the mission, you'll be at this time now instead of the 7.30 as before. If you want to set up one person to take off earlier or later, you you check or you, you choose one of their, the, the, the flight you want to change, and you go into the steer points. If you right-click on this, this lock here, if you right-click on it, it unlocks all of them. If you right-click it again, it locks all of them. So you want to make sure that no other other steer point is locked. So you want to right click, unlock this, and then you want to click it again to lock it. Now you now you have the the takeoff time is locked. So now you could have them take off earlier. So go back a couple minutes, go to 810. You go to the other other um steer points and all of them adjust automatically. There's no reason to change any of this. Uh the only thing you might change is the uh, patrol duration but that doesn't really matter it only matters for AI but if it's a human in there it doesn't really matter 
if you do change this in here, so let's go to steer point three and let's change it to something absurd. Let's go to, so there's 190 knots. You notice, notice how this is red? So if you see any of these and it's red, it's probably because it's going too slow. So what you can do to try to recover this error is to go to the steer point. So this is steer point three, between three and two is, is, is red. So you just go up, keep going up until it turns white and you should be good. Um, even with AI, it doesn't matter particularly too much if it's red, especially if it's human players and you just fly it anyway. So if you see red, don't don't freak out too much, but that's one way to fix it. If it's too messed up, sometimes it could get really messed up. I would recommend just starting over and doing another one. So if you want AWAC support, I recommend putting an AWACS in there. So I'd recommend putting them in a separate package. So you can right click, go to add package, uh, take off time could be anything, go to new, make sure you're on your fraction, the USA, and go to um, E E3. So the E3 century, put that there. It always has a size of two. I don't know why, but make sure you go to one. There's no reason to have two. Go to Osan. Uh, northeast whatever click OK automatically sets it so the the cap will be between five and six so I'll probably put it over here just in case they want to start shooting at it so I'll put it over there press OK ATO go back to it it makes another thing because it's a different package click it you click on here it automatically puts the patrol duration for five hours so you'll be good forever uh, no, you don't have to do anything. That's it. That's all for AWACS. Uh, it's going to be altitude at 28, 6,000, and it's going to take off at 750, and it'll be up for five hours. So you'll have an AWACS for the entire time. If you want to put a tanker, tanker, I would recommend putting them in a separate package as well. I'll put them over here. I'm going to go to add package, new, go to tanker, KC. 135, or let's do a KC-10. One airbase will be Osan. Uh, all that's good. Press OK. That is a huge uh, orbit there into North Korea. Let's do this. Uh, somewhere over here. I'm going to do this. So this is between 5 and 6. Press OK. Let's go back to it. Uh, there's a support in the air refuel. Click it. Click one of the steer points. Automatic 5 hours for fueling. So all that's good. Frequencies, everything is automatically set up in your briefing. So you click the briefing here. So in this briefing, in the mission editor, it's not always correct, but once you get in the 3D, not in the 3D, in the actual uh, mission on 2D, it'll be all correct. But it'll automatically set up everything. Your common will be 15 or whatever it is. It sets up the, the tactical channels, the check-in channels. And for it to set up a refueling channel for you, you have to change one of your refueling or one of your points as refuel so I'm gonna go into bar cap here I'm gonna go to just click on four go to action refuel and it'll give it some time to refuel I'm gonna put 20 minutes in there I'm gonna go back to mud hen now it has a tanker frequency in, in, in there as well so you have to, to, to tune to that to be able to tank for the other side you'll do the same thing the other side so let's the red side, so let's go to status, see what airbase this is, Coxon airbase. So you just change this to the other fraction. I'll just do I'll just do North Korea. Right click, add flight or add package, and press OK. Go back into the ATO. Now you have the other side, other fraction here. So it has takeoff at 804, takeoff is 8 o'clock. So that'll be fine. Click on the the steer point closest so that's 808 so this one will get there at see 812 813 so it'll get there at 813 so that's roughly about the same time you'll, you'll be capping on the blue side for a little bit there and then when you go in make sure when you go into the weapons go into the weapons here press that you go into the weapons you could you could change whatever you want so that's pretty self-explanatory so you change the weapons go on the other side Change the weapons as well. So as for SAMs, you would press this button right here. You would click where you want the SAM to go. Make sure you're in the correct fraction. So you click where you want the SAM to go. You click the 
the fraction, the equipment, it's not exactly who it who this belongs to, it's just the equipment equipment that you're using. So DPRK, let's put an SA2 here. And let's put an SA something else here. Let's put an SA3 right here. Those two SAMs there. Let's put some SAMs on the blue side. Let's put a SAM right here. Let's put a Hawk here. And let's put a Hawk over here. So you got your aircraft, both sides, two flights. You got your SAM coverage. And now you need to put in some D DTC, some data transfer cartridge stuff. So you, you do it just like in 2D. You go to steer point lines to put in the line for the free buffer zone. So you got the line here. Got the line. Now let's put the pre-planned steer points. Pre-planned steer point. You could left click on it. It'll be a SA2. Left click on that one. It'll be a SA3. Press accept. Put that one on the south one. This one on the north one. And now to save it, you'll you'll save the mission. So I'll save it for uh test one i don't think i have a test one in there so i'd save it for test one save the mission once you save the mission you could save the dtc and it'll save it with the exact name as the mission after you save the mission and the dtc you go to data whichever theater you're in since we're in the, the default theater we'll go to campaign and the name will be right here. It'll be configura configuration settings. So you can give this to people, and they have to put it in their same campaign folder. So you could you could transfer transfer the the data cartridge information, so they don't have to do it themselves. But that's literally it for you to make a mission. Uh, you don't have to really do anything else. That's that's pretty much it. So I hope you learned something, and see you in the next one.